Hello YouTube, it's Ian Pobans12 here, and uh, they have now forced everyone to go to the new YouTube update, so I'm doing a video on how to use that, and how to give yourself unlock all with the new um, layout, so that, because since it's a little different, I uh, figured I'd show people not only how to give yourself unlock all, but how to do it on the new layout, become a little more familiar with it. So uh, first of all, as you can see, it's got on the home page on my, anyone's uh, YouTube page that you click on, it'll show this look right here. Um, they have a little picture here. I have my uh, one link I have right here. Um, and then on the, this bottom, they have their home page, their videos that they have uploaded, um, which I have 35, not including this one, which will be 36. So I have a few videos. Um, look through them, look what they're called. They're kind of old. Um, they're all in the old layout, of course, so I mean, it'll be slightly different, but you guys. If you have some common sense, you should be able to figure out how to just modify them to the new layout slightly. Um, and then in my discussion, you know, I don't, I'm not a really big discussion person. I have, like, what, let's see, let's see, let's start at the top here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, uh, 7. Okay, like, 7 months ago, you know, I mean, he loves me, which is cool. But, you know, not, not a big conversation, just no one really talks to me, but that's okay. Doesn't, you know, make me feel good inside. Um, and then about is where everything is got my little description about me and then uh, where my links are this is good for you guys because this all conveniently located for you um, right what you know what you need you need uh, for my menu that I made if you um, like the video that I have on it if you do some research first to watch my video on how to use it what I've changed in it and see if you like it before you try it out I guess and it's just right here you click on it you um, download it bam and this little pop window should pop up um if you have windows 7 it most likely sometimes it doesn't because this windows 7 is temperamental and um, i'm using uh, mozilla firefox so it conveniently uh don't put anything i download right in that arrow but if not you will have most likely something along the lines of like a little download bar here somewhere like on the side for windows 7 you know it has all this stuff and then on the side it has other things um, otherwise, you just hear this box should pop up for you, hopefully something like this. And you just make sure you click save. And then make sure you have free file viewer. This little icon, if you can see it, the gray with the white piece of paper. To download free file viewer, if you don't have it on your computer, is right here. Um, at the end of this video, after I'm all done on my PS3, I'll be doing how to download free file viewer and how to use it. Because it is kind of a pain in the ass to download and you have to... You don't, you don't want to agree to anything, just skip everything, um, and deny a lot of their stuff so you just download for five of you or not a bunch of these bullshit programs. So that'll be towards the end of the video, probably about the 9 to 10 minute mark. So if you want to skip ahead to how to download that first, and then we'll re watch the video, you can go ahead and do that, otherwise just follow along. Um, now that you have free file viewer, you just, um, make sure it ha has that, make sure you click save and then you don't want to cancel. I am retarded. <laughs> I thought it was okay. Um, make sure you don't click cancel. There was a problem downloading it. Of course there was. You click on it again if you're having a problem. Technical difficulties. Don't click cancel. Click OK. They're right next to each other. You know, it's kind of hard to tell. Make sure you have save. And then make sure it says free file viewer. Um, and then click OK. And then you just simply see right here. The down, this uh, little arrow you have. It tells you what you've downloaded. You just drag that on your desktop. And then you exit out of here. Go to full screen again. And then just the unlock all file. You need to download that. Um, it likes to download it as a notepad. So it thinks it's a notepad for whatever reason. Default. So just make sure you click. Um, since you have free file viewer. It should, it should be in the your quick options. Free file viewer. If it's not your quick options. You're going to have to go down to other. And then um, it should be some. Hopefully it should be somewhere in here somewhere. And if not then browse. And then you should be able to find where it is in your on your computer. And then but once you have free file over the, and you click save, you click OK. And then minimize it again. Click your little down arrow on Firefox. Or if you're using Google Chrome, it'll just be on the side in that little those three lines, you know, in your download. Um, and then you just minimize the Internet Explorer. Plug in your USB to your computer. Like I have this nice little cord here. It's all convenient, so I can plug it in. And then my USB, you just click on my computer. And then see your will disk drive. And then you just drag them in there. Bam, you have two files right there just like that. 
Look what I've done to delete it right there. Isn't that great? Um, and then you see these little parentheses? The parentheses 2 and the parentheses 11. That, um, that I have a lot of different default button default files on my computer. Um, so you just gotta get rid of those. The I won't see them if the parentheses are there. So you just gotta get rid of them. Just like that. Now you see them. Um, you can't edit these. Because you have to edit these. Like you know how to... Um, so now if you click open with... Then you should. You won't have Notepad right away. So you click choose program and then find Notepad. So then I have this here. It was uh, Modern Warfare uh, H. I don't know what the H standard for, but I just threw it on there because it looked cool. But when you pl put it into your com your PS3 and then take it off your PS3 and put it back into your computer, it does this shit to you. And I'm just too lazy to fix it. Anyways, so it kind of looks cool at the time. Um. Anyways, you edit this. Um. You take. I have here. You just um simply. Um, hit, it is not here, I guess, but you just hit Control H. Uh, once you hit Control H, you just uh, type in my PSN, I N P O B A N Z 12, Ian Pope 12, and replace it with yours. And once you replace it with your PSN, just type in, uh, you know, Billy 123. Your PlayStation name is Billy. Then just click Replace All, and then bam, it'll replace everything. And once you've clicked Replace All, it should bring you back up to the top. And then just click File, Save, not Save As, no, 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 Save, and then you just exit out, and then you should be good. It should change in size most likely because um, you probably have a different, your name will make a different size. Do not edit the Unlock All at all, just keep it the same. And once you exit out of that, um, head over to your PS3. I do not have a pause button, my pause button is broken, sorry guys. So just uh, bear with me here, skip through the video slightly if you want. Um, because I will need to load stuff up, and I'm doing it f exactly how you guys have to do it. See, once you're at your PS3, I'm here to show you that I'm at a PS3 here. I do not have a jailbroken PS3, just for everyone that might be wondering. I, the same thing everyone else has. Um, here, so you're at the Modern Warfare 2 menu, you just load up the multiplayer. Um, do 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 do. Normally it takes forever to sign in, so I, to save time, I also loaded my split screen up. So you load your split screen up, you find a split screen. Um, sure, we'll go with that one. TT, we'll go with that one. I don't really know. What's that one? Oh, that one's level one. Cool wheel. Oh, ooh, now you play online. Oh, yes, I'm signed in. Cool. Alright, um, now I have my awesome friends here. I have Cod Beast and the Cod Crazy that hosted it for me. I'm gonna take it from Cod Beast. I took it from, uh, Got crazy in my PS3 video, so I'll switch her off. Um, they've been on all day for me. It's pretty nice. They're just sleeping. Not so not for me, but they've just been on, so it's pretty sweet. So then you just start the match. Make sure USB is in your right USB slot. If I didn't say that, um, the right USB slot. And then um, bam, you've got yourself a CFG menu. And if you edit it like I did just briefly there, it's really that simple, that quick. Um. They'll have explosive bullets, you'll have, I mean, check check this out right here. Right, you guys know how fast this gun shoots, right? Normally, I haven't opened the menu yet. See, that's, that's pretty decent speed, right? And then now, now if you were to hit select, right? Now see, I have a bigger clip. Now, now see how fast this thing, I got rapid fire without having a rapid fire. I mean, you see that? Can you tell the difference? It does that with every gun. So like, you switch to... The LSW, and you open up and get your, get your uh, 200 round clip there. I mean, it's so fast. But anyways, so you see, you'll be in the split screen. Just letting you know, I have double tap, which is pretty fun to do when you're in split, uh, private match. Anyways, you'll see, and you won't see the whole menu. It's like, what the heck's going on here? Um, it just that's how it is in the split screen. The first time you use it, I don't know why. What I do is you just uh, back out of the, like when you're first uh, hit up, up, and then up, and then R3, and then you'll host the UAV aim assist, which gives you it's just aim assist. Um, so you'll you'll host this right away if you go up three times. Basically, select up, 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 and then R3 to click on it, and then you'll have this, and then um, you to, to give yourself UAV and aim assist. I call it UAV because I think it's funny, um, and because I can. So anyways, you load it up, you're on Rust now. Um, 
and then you just choose whatever the hell class you want. Um, hit select up, now you got the full menu. Um, your screen's green, they'll go away and you go online, you guys know that if you used infections before. Um, otherwise you got the whole menu here, you got aimbot, and then you got uh, host only jump, woohoo. Um, you know, you got explosive bullets, let's see, where's the explosive bullet editor? See the explosive bullets? Now you just scroll over for how strong you want them. Um, green mean, uh, means you're almost really strong, like, it won't kill you if you shoot over here. But if I were to shoot at this, it'll kill me. See, it's hurting me. I mean, that's isn't it pretty awesome. Okay, anyway, so that's explosive bullets. Um, so yeah, that's the menu. Um, okay, and then to give yourself unlock all, the only reason why I'm making this video, you can scroll down with the down arrow to uh, random extras. And then there you got self un unlock all right there. You click on it. Um, I don't have a credit class, but I gave myself unlock all, and you're like, what the heck? I'm level one. How do I not have unlock all? It's right. You need to have. You need to be leveled up to have credit class to get your stuff unlocked. Now you already have all the challenges unlocked, but you don't have the ability to access any of it for whatever reason. That's just how it works. So if this is if this is a new account and you want to level it up real quick, then all you need to do is go down to my um, unlocks and prestige infections. You can infect people with sniper unlocks. Like if you have a friend who doesn't who doesn't know can't understand how to do this stuff, um, you can just give them you know all pro perks or um, all UMP unlocks or tar or any of these guns I have listed. Um, then you have, you give your friend eleventh prestige, tenth prestige, ninth or seventh. Eleventh is just a stupid no picture thing. Which I hate, and you'll see if you hit once you click R3 on it, which is like your select, um, like when you click on a mod, um, you'll see that, and then you just end the game. I, I really made these. I made I made all of these, by the way. Um, and that's when you'll give yourself. Now, of, co of course, if you were going to be giving this to yourself, if you wanted to unlock for online like if you want to give yourself online you'd have to turn playstation unlocks on see playstation networks on yes you want them on and then you start the match but i don't i want to uh level up my split screen account to 10th prestige so you do that bam and i'll start it up but then it'll end because in the coding it says disconnect if you read it so this it starts up and then disconnects <coughs> and then bam That's prestige now. See, there we go. Titles and emblems, everything's unlocked. Um, just like that. It's pretty sweet. Um, if you go to barracks, you know, your challenges. Assault rifles, done. Famas, done. I mean, you can go to your basic training, done. Done. Everything's done, just like that. Isn't that freaking amazing? Okay. Credit class, I always like, you know, I got all your pro perks and everything. So, um, so there you go. That's how you do that. And then I'm going to be doing at the end. No, sorry, it took a little longer than I expected. But I'm going to be doing how to do the free file viewer real quick. So bear with me. Um, how to give yourself a free file viewer is you just simply click on the link I have here free file viewer um download bam a lot should pop up save file Oops. and you minimize free file viewer setup right there drag it click run don't worry it's not going to give you any viruses or anything um you just click install Takes a little while, like I said. I'm sorry, there's no pause button. I don't know why my pause button won't work, but um, if you just want to um, uncheck all these boxes that it says, you want to accept and then um, decline, 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 decline. Yeah, you don't want to decline. And just keep on declining, and then see, you'll just install uh, free file viewer it's installing installing software now I see I want to see the stuff my software that's installing 
there we go. It takes a while, I said, and just let it install. Um, I'm sorry again for not having a pause button. It, it'll jump back and forth, and if you watch it, it'll be like, no, I'm not, no, yes, I am installed. No, I am, I'm not, I am. But it'll be installed. And then, um, you have a free file viewer. It's, it's that simple, then you just click, click finish once it's done. Um, I really don't know why my pause button doesn't work. So, I'm sorry it doesn't pause again. Um, but yeah, it takes, like I said, it takes not the max five five minutes. It'll just bring you back to the web, web page. Um, and it just says, hey, it's been installed. Oh, once it's done, is you finish? Yes, I'm finished. Okay. And you have your little shortcut here. If you don't want to look at the shortcut, just drag it into your documents. Um, no, I don't want to. I already have it in my documents. Cool. I just want to delete it then. You don't need the shortcut. Now that you've got it on your computer, that's all that matters. That's all you need it for. And you just delete it. Delete shortcut. It's still there. You can delete the installer. It's still there. You can create a folder on your desktop. You know, create a, create a new folder. Call it uh, whatever the hell you want. And then just drag your um, CFG files in there. That way you can use them later. Um, let's open up internet again. Um, so I hope this helped you um, on how to do the Monarch 2 modding stuff. Um, it's just a learning, uh, learning process. If you want to download uh, bigger bigger uh, menus, just make sure you uh, download WinRAR, which is just do the same thing. De decline as much stuff as you can, uncheck boxes, but make sure you click accept at the end. Um, and then just click, if you don't care, if you have a little few extra advertisement, like it'll put a toolbar and stuff, if you don't care about it, then just click OK. Otherwise, I hope this video helped you out on how to do CFG stuff. And um, if you have any questions, make sure to comment. Um, any questions, and make sure to remember to subscribe. Thanks for hanging in, and I'm out.